Hi clouds, no rain, but wind. And the bright prospect for Jumbo Visma, clearly the strongest team at this, the 107th Tour of Flanders. Well, Van Aert, many people's pick for the day. Likewise, Matthew van der Poel and, of course, Tali Pocaccia, about to take on 273.4 kilometres, including 19 climbs and six sectors of pave. Many of those climbs also featuring cobbles, of course, and the daunting Eau de Quermont and Paderberg to finish the day off. Well, the Quermont itself taken on three occasions, the Paderberg just the twice, but a finale like no other in this race. Well, the wind was blowing with a northeasterly, and it meant for a very, very fast start. It took a long time, over 100 kilometres, before we finally got ourselves a breakaway established. And quality it was as well up the road. So what would be the response? Well, before we even got a chance to ponder it, unfortunately, a disqualification for Philippe Maschischuk of Bahrain Victorious, getting it wrong on the approach to some of the bigger tests, slewing across the road and just destroying the field. Well, many were to taste disappointment, but others, the prospect, of course, of pushing on was there and alive. Askreen, Trentin, part of a, a very, very accomplished breakaway of 15 riders, ultimately, and the kilometres were busy ticking down. Well over the two-thirds completed margin, and it was now time to just ponder whether it would be fatigue or indeed good fortune or ill that would define the day or possibly a combination of both. Another mighty crash. Thankfully, Benjamin Gamay and the others here getting away with it. No serious injuries to report from them. Injuries there were, and also, I guess, an injurious performance by Tali Pocaccia. He was in punishing mode. The first pairing of the Quermont and Paderberg, he went on the attack. Mathieu van der Poel, whose own team had been diminished through incidents, was determined not to be left out. Wout van Aert trying to stay in touch as well. But the hammer blows that came from Tali Bocaccia just came almost constantly. The toughest of climbs belonged to him. Last thing he wanted, of course, was a sprint finish. The three favourites riding together, trying to chase down a quality breakaway, and the cobbles kept coming and they had an impact. That just unshipping momentarily of the chain of Matthew van der Poel meant he had to chase on on one of the toughest climbs of the day. He did tag Wout van Aert and Tali Bocaccia but they were starting to fracture in the breakaway up ahead. Mas Pedersen was part of that group. He pushed on for Trek Sagafredo. And almost in response, Mathieu van der Poel wanted to make a statement. He could see that Wout van Aert was struggling, and away he went, taking Tali Pocaccia, of course, with him. Well, that was an amazing duo, of course, in hot pursuit of those up front. And when they finally latched on, collecting those who'd fallen out of the breakaway along the way, they surely knew they had a great chance. Trentin working so hard, and as well, Van Aert struggled, dropping back from the front group. Teammates were there at hand, Van Hoydonk burning his own chances to help out. But helping yourself is what Tali Bacaccio is all about. He pushed on, leaving, of course, Matthew van der Poel with a modest margin. What would it be by the time we got to the top of the Paderberg? That was the big question, and the answer was around 15 seconds. Well, the big separation between the two favourites had been made, and it was a question of whether this man could possibly hold the advantage. Mathieu van der Poel was trying his level best to close the gap, but it just kept expanding, nudging up to over 30 seconds at one point. Tali Bocaccia taking this most prized of the monuments in his mind. He came here as a debutant in 22, finished fourth, Losing out in a sprint, of course, where Matthew van der Poel triumphed. This day, though, belonged to Tali Pocaccia. Well, the battle for the minor places, it had to go to a throw on the line. Matt Van Aert was fourth in the end, beaten by Mas Pedersen, one of the great animators of the day. But you could take nothing away from Tali Pocaccia and his achievement. Absolutely remarkable. Van der Poel second, Mas Pedersen third ahead of Matt Van Aert. Nielsen Paulus doing an amazing job. He continues to do so, the American finishing in front of Stefan Kuhn. Here, our podium of the day. King of the hill, Tali Bocaccia. He did not want a sprint. He made sure he didn't get one. And he made sure he won the day. Absolutely remarkable rider at the top of his game right here.